So let's now take a look at differences between dates, which can also be really useful in a kind of real life situation. And we'll take a look at an example first at using something to calculate how many years younger someone is than someone else. So let's create two variables. Just imagine these are dates that you have stored somewhere or you're passing into your application. And we're going to use a date string again. So I'm going to type in a date just here. Of course, you can create these dates in whichever way that you want to. Uh, and we'll go ahead and duplicate this line down and create a new variable with a different date in. So let's say 25th of October 1961. So what we want to do now is echo out a string and say Alex is so many years younger than Dale. So let's echo this out and we're going to say Alex is X years younger than Dale. So pretty straightforward. And inside here, we can go ahead and output this using a method within Carbon. So we first use the first date object, which is named Alex in this variable. And we're going to say diff in years. And then as the argument for this, we're going to pass in Dale. Obviously, these variables would be named differently. You wouldn't give these a name, but you get the general idea. And we can go ahead and see how this works now. So let's go and refresh and there we go. So we get Alex is 28 years younger than Dale. Now, as you will have known by now, we can also go ahead and use things like diff in months, diff in weeks, days, hours, minutes and seconds. So we can use all of these methods depending on your use. So I could say minutes, for example. And we just get the same result here, but obviously represented in the minutes. So that's pretty straightforward. But now let's look at some more interesting examples in terms of the other methods that we can use. So for example, let's go ahead and create the current date and time. And let's go ahead and create a new uh, carbon object. And let's say pars plus two weeks. So pars is just another way of not having to say new carbon and then pass uh, some kind of uh, string in here. So if we look at the first one, we see the following. So we've got this date. And if we go ahead and do a var on C2, you can see that that's just two weeks uh, into the future. So what we can do then is if we have two weeks into the future, we can calculate how many weekdays difference this is. So let's do a var dump on C. We use the diff in weekdays method and then we obviously pass in the date that we want to uh, compare this to or check the difference on and we see 10. Obviously because it's two weeks uh, into the future that uh, doesn't include weekends so it just includes the weekdays and obviously 5 add 5 is 10 so we've got two weeks worth of data there. So we can also use a method called diff in weekend days which is obviously going to just be a Saturday and a Sunday and obviously that is four because we're adding two weeks on and there's two weekend days in a week we're just adding two and two and that's four so this might be useful to you so we're now going to look back at the diff for humans method which is really useful if you are storing something in your database like comments on something or when a user was registered, anything that's really posted that you're outputting to a user and telling them when something was created. Sometimes it's a good idea not to just output the date explicitly because it's a little bit difficult to just scan through and read. So diff for humans works perfectly here. So what we're going to do is just get rid of this and we're going to go ahead and use the parse method. And we'll go ahead and say minus two days ago or minus two days. Let's just do a var dump on C, just check everything out here, looks good. And then we can go ahead and use diff for humans like so. We can go ahead and refresh and we see two days ago. So it's a lot better this way. And obviously we don't have to use uh, this. We can obviously uh, create a date or create a carbon instance from a timestamp, which you might be storing in your database or you might just be storing something like this in your database. So something like this at 12, 30, two, something like that. So you might be storing it in this format 
in which case you can pass it in you can go ahead and refresh and then you get the uh, human readable version of when that date is so that's really really useful uh, for actually displaying to a user as is implied from the method name diff for humans so we've now come to the end of the differences section next we're going to take a look at modifiers <laughs>